How's it going, everybody? So, as a lot of you probably know, Sony just released more information about the PS5. They had, like, uh, some sort of conference today. And I just wanted to kind of talk about some of the stuff that they went over in the video. So that way you guys don't have to watch the whole hour and a half. I can just kind of... This is just going to be a sum up of the what they kind of released and talked about. They released information about, I think it was 25 or so, new titles. Uh, that weren't yet released and then they touched on a couple other things on like uh, GTA 5 is supposedly going to be free on release for them so when you get the PS5 you can download it for free and they also mentioned something about getting like a free million per month on that. The games that they released information about, um, there's a couple that I'm really excited for and I'm going to save those until the, the end. In order from what they released, they released Spider-Man, Gran Turismo 7, they released a new Ratchet and Clank, there's Project Athia, Stray, Returnal, Sackboy A Big Adventure, uh, Destruction All-Stars, I think this one's pronounced Kena Bridge of Spirits, I don't know if it's Kena Bridge of Spirits or Kena, um, but that one looked really cool. Uh, there was a thing called Goodbye Volcano High, I have no idea what that was all about, it was really weird. Uh, and then there was Oddworld, Soulstorm, Ghostwire, Tokyo, Jet, The Far Shore, uh, there was Godfall, Solar Ash, they released uh, Hitman 3, which I'm pretty excited for that, uh, Astro's Playroom, Little Devil Inside, they released the new NBA 2K21, there's Bug Snacks, which seems almost just like a meme, like it does, it seems like it probably gonna be kind of funny not my type of game I might still look into it though uh, Demon Souls Deathloop Resident Evil 8 I think this is pronounced Pragmata Pragmata I'm not I'm probably butchering that but and Horizon 2 Forbidden West so of all of the stuff that they released uh, the stuff that I'm most excited for is definitely spider-man the spider-man game looks sick I didn't really get to play the, the first one too, too much. I don't have it personally. I never really got around to it. But the second one looks insane. The gameplay on it, the, the graphics, it, all of it, it just looks wicked cool. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, it looks like a really cool game. I don't typically play those types of games because some people might look at it and think it's more for like the little kids. But this one looks really, really cool and I'm probably gonna end up getting to this one. Um, I might even do some gameplay of it and stuff. I might like play this on a channel. The Kena Bridge of Spirits, in my personal opinion, looked like probably one of the best titles they released today. That and Spider-Man are my two favorites that they released out of this. Um, although there were a couple other ones that I really liked, but this one looks insane. The other one that I liked is uh, the Resident Evil. Uh, they called it Village. Um, so that's Resident Evil 8. I'm a little bit skeptical though. They look like they were going more so for like the the Resident Evil 4 style of like the graphics and stuff and I don't know what it is about them changing the engine it just it doesn't look like it's that smooth it looks really juddery right now hopefully they fix that so it's not that juddery when they actually release the game and then the other one that I'm kind of excited for is Horizon Horizon 2 looked really really good and I I just can't wait to play it. So to start off, oh my god, dude, the the Spider-Man game looks insane. Like I'm kind of just going to skip through it, but like this style of like this Spider-Verse looks insane. Dude, like, oh my god. Like, this just looks so good. And I think the best part about it is the release date's holiday 2020. So that, it, that means it's going to be coming out on release with the PS5. Um, which I'm 
I'm so excited for that. The Ratchet and Clank one, like, I don't know if they have the same one up from the showing, but, oh my god, dude. Like, it just looks so good. Obviously, this part's CGI. Like, this isn't the gameplay part. Like, oh my god. Like, that just looks so sick. The other one I'm excited for is the Kena Bridge of Spirits. So most of these games, most of the games that were released were indie style games, um, which I mean, I, it's kind of what I assumed. Even some of these are just, like this one just looks crazy. Like those guys are so cute. But everything from this between like the graphics, the animations, like the gameplay, like it just oh my god i'm so excited for this one it gives me like a zelda type feel like look at those animations like that's crazy it just looks so sick like even like oh my god i can't wait this is gonna be this is gonna be great this is gonna hurt my bank account, but this is gonna be great. Watch the Horizon 2 one real quick. Like a lot of these are the place, like PlayStation Studio, like obviously their development is still somewhat newer, but oh my God, they're doing a really good job at all of this stuff. Like I didn't really play the first Horizon much, but after seeing this trailer and watching some of this gameplay on this release, oh my god. Like, I'm definitely getting this one. I'm probably gonna have to go back and play the first one before I go and doing this, but I don't even care. Like, the underwater part. There's an underwater part. And right here. And there's some alligator dudes. Oh my god. Like, that looks crazy. Dude, that's crazy and then I'm I'm gonna show this to kind of explain what I was talking about so at first I didn't think it was Resident Evil at first because of the style but now that I've like watched it a couple times it kind of reminds me of like Resident Evil 4 but like if you just look like it just looks really juddery or like choppy like it, it doesn't look smooth so I'm hoping that they fix this before it's released. But like, it, it still looks really good. Like, even like this part here. Like, this part here doesn't look like the regular Resident Evil. I don't know if it's just the engine or what, but it does look crazy, though. Now, on topic of the actual console itself they they mentioned a couple things about the specs of it they said that it's going to have the 4k ultra high def and it's going to have blu-ray capability they said that it's going to have ray tracing which that we kind of knew then the controllers are going to have haptic feedback adaptive triggers and it's also going to have motion sensors uh which i find that really really interesting i think the, the remote is going to be insane um i can't wait to get my hands on it and actually feel it and use it uh, it looks really, really cool. And then they also mentioned that there's going to be like 3D audio and a couple other little things like that. Another thing, they released a new wireless headset that you would be getting for the PS5. Um, there's also a new HD camera that you can get for it. They're going to have a charging dock for the controllers. And then they released the, the media remote. They also released the design of the PS5. Now... I've been waiting for this. I've been seeing a bunch of concept arts on it, and a lot of them have been really cool. A lot of them have been really weird, so I was hoping that it was gonna end up looking cool when they actually released it. And I'm kind of mixed on the console itself. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I personally really like it. I don't know if I would want it in white. I hope that they have a black version of it. Um, I think if there's a black version, then I'd be happy with it. But the white version, I just feel like it gets too dirty. But then again, I mean, I can put sticker, like you can sticker bomb it, you can get skins for it. So I mean, the color doesn't really matter too, too much. The design of it looks really similar to like an Alienware 
Um, I think a lot of people would, would agree with that. Um, not the best design, but I still really, really like it. And I think that it's really unique, and I personally like this design way better than the Xbox's design. If the Xbox is just a box, which that's just boring. I don't, sorry to all the Xbox people, no hate to the Xbox because it, the Xbox has really good consoles, but I just don't think that the Xbox Series X looks good and I personally will not be getting that. They're gonna have two different kinds of PS5. They're gonna have the digital and the non-digital. So one of them has the little disc tray in it and the other one doesn't. I'm probably gonna get the one that has the disc tray in it because I have games that are discs and it's gonna be backwards compatible so I'll be able to use all my PS4 games on it. Um, or at least so I've heard. The only sad thing is that they didn't release anything about pricing. Uh, I believe Microsoft is gonna be releasing information about their pricing and all that stuff in about like a month or so. I think it's in August, uh, so a little over a month. Sony's probably gonna wait until then to release any more information about pricing and specs, stuff like that. Overall, I think it was, it was a pretty good uh, conference. Um, and I think they did release a good amount of stuff. And now I'm just, now I'm just waiting because now I just, I want it. I knew as soon as these like Orbeez started like morphing around, I was like, this they're gonna show what it looks like. Like they, they have to. And I was seeing this and I was like, uh, what the hell is that? This is it right here. This is it. Like, it just looks so, like, modern and clean. Uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. And it's got one regular USB and a USB Type-C. So they have... They're, I mean, they're the same, it's just the... They have a little bump out for the disc tray. So they got the regular one, and then they got the all digital version. A lot of people have been just switching over to the digital one. I personally still have a lot of discs, so I'm probably gonna stick with that. So that was just about everything they talked about in that hour and a half conference video that they had, the live stream. Man, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Yeah, so I just wanted to talk about what they went over over the hour and a half. I wanted to have a shortened version of it so that people who didn't get to watch the whole hour and a half on the spot have a chance to see like an overview so you don't have to spend a whole hour and a half for something that could have been said in like 10 minutes obviously they showed all the gameplay and stuff i won't be showing all of the gameplay i'll leave a link in the description that'll have the website that has all of the gameplay trailers and stuff so if you wanted to go through and look at any of the stuff they released they have all of the trailers in it um I believe it's called 2020.e3recap.com um, and that has all of the, the gameplay trailers and all the information that was released. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button down below if you did. Hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell, comment down below what you want to see next. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.